good ricotta is hard to come by. Most often you find in the grocery stores something that looks like this where it's liquidy, it's grainy in texture, and it's just not very good. Well, today I'm gonna show you how to make ricotta in your own kitchen, and guess what? It only takes an hour. Here I have the ingredients in front of me. Literally, there are four ingredients to this. And what you need is eight cups of whole milk. So start off with that in a large pot here over medium high heat. Now in the grocery store, you can find different types of ricotta. You can find whole milk ricotta. You can find part skim milk ricotta. And what that means is it's using a different blend of dairy with lower fat. I'm using full fat here because you really get a better texture when you use whole milk. And I'm even going to go one step further and I'm gonna add some heavy cream. So this is one and a half cups of heavy cream and a little bit of salt. So I'm using coarse kosher salt here and I'm using a teaspoon of that. Stir this together and you need to bring this mixture up to 195 degrees. Now, if you have one of these candy thermometers, this is for making caramel or other things like that, you can use this and you want this to come slowly to 195 degrees. You don't want this to come up to a rapid boil. So monitor it, stir it every once in a while. It should take about 15 minutes on medium high heat. So our milk mixture is up to 195 degrees. You wanna make sure that you do not boil this mixture. And now a little bit of acid. So I have two lemons here. It's about a quarter of a cup of lemon juice. Pour this right in, give it a stir, and turn off the heat. Now, the residual heat and the acid that you're adding in will start to coagulate the proteins. This gets really scientific here. It starts to coagulate the proteins in your milk mixture, separating what will be known as the curds from the whey. So this mixture just needs to sit for about five minutes and then I'm going to strain it so that we can strain away all that whey and have just some delicious ricotta left in the strainer. So it's been five minutes now. You wanna make sure during that five minute resting that you don't really stir your mixture here because what that will do is it will create really tiny curds. So you want the curds to actually be a little bit bigger, so don't stir it. Now strain this through some cheesecloth, a lined strainer with cheesecloth over a bowl. And be careful here because your mixture is still very hot and you're gonna let this strain and sit undisturbed for about 20 minutes. Now, after the 20 minutes, you can serve it just like that for a looser ricotta, or you can go up to an hour for something a little bit more firm in texture that would be good probably for a lasagna or a filling for a ravioli or something like that. So at least 20 minutes. Here is the ricotta that's been sitting for 20 minutes. So it's still very light and fluffy in texture. You can see it has a golden yellow color. And I'm gonna try it because it's so delicious. Now you could sprinkle this with some salt and a little bit of olive oil and serve it with crusty bread. That would be delicious. Mm. It's so great with that slightly lemony flavor. And this version here has been sitting for an hour. So you can see this has a slightly different texture. It's more firm. Still very tasty and creamy. And so there you go, guys. All you need four ingredients. You need a little bit of time and you can have creamy, homemade, delicious ricotta. Skip that grocery store brand and try this at home. Enjoy, guys.